I'm not picking on these brands because there are loads of you who are doing it like this now, okay? But that essentially is why Napit is saying that does not comply because there is nothing in that device there that has an overcurrent protected device in it. It has a fail safe device, okay, brilliant. They all do, but it doesn't have any form of dedicated overcurrent protection. That has to rely on the DNO fuse entirely. But we also don't know, and most of the DNOs don't know, what fuse is actually in it. But it, it appears like Napit have taken a point of, do you know what, we're gonna raise the standard. Our electricians are going to work to the letter of BS7671. That's what it appears like to me, in my humble opinion, allegedly, 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 whatever I need to say. Mm. There's place for everyone, but when you're putting electricians at risk, which is what I said would happen, this is gonna fall back on the electrician to put, right? Which is exactly what's gonna happen in that, that, with that guy's assessment. And that's when I had an issue with it. And that's why I did the podcast and everything else.